the craggy beauty of Norway's coastline. Also the helicopter, we have a much better view, you see. But look closer, and you see the horror. Coloured dots of plastic. There is plastic everywhere. Everywhere. A year ago, I was here following the story of a whale that died with plastic in its stomach. I returned to see its legacy. A very special beach clean. You can just lift up and you will find more plastic and more plastic and more plastic. These volunteers have come from a dozen countries inspired by our documentary to help. Ariana came from Italy. She's overwhelmed by what she's seen. We were there for hours and we need to do that for hours again and you have the feeling that it is not clean. Removing so much plastic needs heavy lifting gear. The Norwegian government has given £6 million for the clean-up this year, and driving it all is Kenneth. This is not going to stop now. This is a revolution, a big revolution, and it will never stop. It will grow each day. It will grow. So this movement that started in Bergen with one whale, do you hope that will become a global movement now? Yes, yes. We have started it, and we are going to finish it, I can assure you. But there is much to do. A short boat ride away, we found yet more plastic. Almost every island in Norway's archipelago has its own problem. Norway's coastline, with all its islands and fjords, stretches for 60,000 miles. And running just offshore, there's a strong current that sweeps from the south, from the rest of Europe, and it brings an abundance of plastic. Some of it from the UK. Here there's a, a Lucasade bottle with a British address on it. And here, a fishing crate from the east coast of England. Afros has come halfway round the world to meet Kenneth. He cleans beaches in Mumbai, but the plastic problem has no borders. It's good to see you, man. We took him further up the coast to another island. The plastic here is becoming part of nature. Oh my God, this is plastic soup. He's never seen plastic broken down into such tiny pieces. It's far harder to clean up. Citizens all over the world must rise up. Uh, this far too long waiting for the government and the law and for the deposit scheme and the penalty and the coercive action. The skeleton of the whale that started the story has been cleaned and now needs to be pieced together. It'll be displayed in the local museum, a warning of what our lifestyles are doing to the environment. This was uh, the reason why we now, uh, everyone is collecting plastic on the beaches. Everyone is, uh, is uh, saying no thanks when you're off the plastic bag or on the, on, in the shop. The tide is turning, beaches cleaned, habits changed. That's the effect of the plastic whale. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Bergen, Norway.